Hello, everybody. Welcome to Jumping in the Elevator, the podcast where I, Michael Microphone from the YouTube channel Mike's Mike, I look into the things that you want to know more about, but you can't bother researching them yourself. And today we're talking about something very culturally significant, and that is bad pop song lyrics. Also, I just clucked myself in the reflection and I'm eating this look up today. For those listening, I've got a peach light behind me. And I've got the fit on feeling glorious. I'm also recording during the day rather than at night. And it's giving a little bit something extra, you know, the noises of my neighbors vacuuming, the sound of someone running into a wall and the smell of food from nearby restaurants. It really just adds a lot to the ambiance. A special hello to Miss Skylar, one of my top tier patron besties. I hope you're enjoying your existence today. Mm -hmm. Also, I hope your Neopets are not dead and not starving. That's a big deal. When I checked on my Neopet last, Mr. Speed Factor, yes, I named my Neopet Speed Factor. I was 10. Okay. And I loved the concept of going fast. So Speed Factor, that kind of ate the girls up. Anyway, Mr. Speed Factor was frail and he hadn't eaten in something like 10 years And I hate that for him, but he's still very much alive. So I hope your um, Neopets are doing fantastic. So what happened this week? The basic summary is I fell in a hole. I fell in a hole this week. That's pretty much the update. I fell in a hole. Now you might be wondering what other circumstances to you falling in the hole. It's not like, oh, I fell into a hole of content and I got stuck Googling whatever. No, I literally fell in a hole and that defined my week. So let me explain. I was having a not fun time at the start of this week. I think I was just really in my head. One of the things that happens when you do this as a job, like social media stuff and people are just constantly like picking things about like, you specifically or what you're talking about and then just like twisting it slightly and just like having little digs or like backhanded compliments and stuff like that. So I was really in my head about that. Um, and I was just feeling like ugly, ugly, unfit boy, ugly, unfit boy in the blue jacket who sits in the chair all day. That's what I felt like. And I was like, no, I'm going to go for a run. Cause I used to run a lot. Um, and I haven't gone for a run in a couple of months because I was like moving apartments and the panoramic, the Panasonic, all that. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll go for a run today. So I got all ready, started running. I was crossing a road and someone had stopped for me while I was crossing the road. So I looked up to wave at the person like a little thanks bestie. And then that half a second, I stepped in a pothole in the road as I was running and my ankle like rolled and I heard a click and it hurt so much. But then like, as I kind of pulled my foot out of it, it clicked again. So I was like, maybe I clicked it out and then clicked it back in because I do be double jointed and that's true. So I thought maybe I clicked it out, clicked it back in. So it was extremely painful for like five minutes and then it got better and I was like, okay, wig, what happened here? Why am I suddenly fine? And then it was like good for a couple of hours and then it gradually started getting worse and swollen. And then it started hurting a lot and I couldn't even walk on it, but I'm standing now and things are going better, but I had to cancel dance class and dance class is one of my favorite things to do during the week. So the fact that I had to cancel dance class, that's problematic. So yes, I fell in the hole. Then what else happened? I had some drama with like brand deals. That's like a side of YouTube and stuff that you probably don't get a whole lot of info about but I tweeted about this was kind of like companies ask me what like my rates are. And then I tell them and they reply and they're like, okay, we'll do this. And it's like a third of the amount. And that's just like, "Mm, no. (laughs) So that's why I haven't done a brand deal in like six months or so, but I think there's some coming up. So (laughs) keep your eyes peeled for those. I also might start doing, um, add like integrations into the podcast just because I feel like it fits the format really well. But yes. Uh, Also, hello to everyone new that joined. We hit 40,000 subscribers 
on the podcast channel, which is a big time scream. Think big time rush and replace the rush with scream. Big time scream. And seeing that four instead of like the three in 30, I was like, wait, imagine if I can get this podcast channel to 100,000 subscribers. That would be insane. That would be two plaques. We'd have to call a dentist because there's so much plaque. That was actually such a good joke. I hope you laughed because I ate it up. Why lie? Okay. So those are the, those are the things that happened this week. What else happened this week? Um, I ate a really good sandwich. Also, apologies. Uh, okay. Last episode of the podcast, I was talking about Lady Gaga and I pronounced a song as Scheiber because it looks like the letter B. But also, I don't speak German. I don't speak German, but I can if you like. Ow! No, I don't speak German. So I got that wrong. Apparently, it's Scheiser. Like, the B-looking thing is like a SZ character. And apparently, Scheiser means shit. So either I'm being set up, or Lady Gaga has a song called Shit in German. Which is just a little bit of fun, isn't it? So I apologize for my mispronunciation. Uh, So... Let's get stuck into what we're doing today. And that is, of course, talking about bad pop songs. Not bad pop songs, okay? I'm just gonna be very clear on this. These songs that have these lyrics, some of these songs are my favorite songs and I love them. But some of the lyrics are just ridiculous. But also, who cares? Like if a song just says, pizza, 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 over and over again, but it's on like like a hyper pop trap beat, I will eat that shit up. Like, imagine if it was like, doof, 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 and the lyrics are like, pizza, 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 pizza. I would go ballistic in the club. I would collapse on the floor. They'd have to put the clean up sign because I'm collapsed on the floor in the club because they played the pizza song. Okay? That's the kind of shit that we're dealing with right now. So, I googled bad song lyrics and we're just going to go through them. So... Let's start with one from Mr. Stole My Initials, Eminem, in the song Love The Way You Lie. Can you guess what this is going to be? Also, I was going to turn this into an actual YouTube video, but then I thought we can just do podcasts because then I can do more of them and be like less, um, like just, I can just roll them off the tongue and just go through the list. So, Love The Way You Lie. Now you get to watch her leave out the window. Guess that's why they call it window pane. Like, window pain, pain, you're in pain because she's leaving, and she's leaving through the window, window pain. Right. Catch your feet 303, blah, blah, blah. Zip your lips like a padlock. What? That's not how ped, ped, padlocks, hello? Padlocks work. You don't zip the padlock. You lock the padlock, zip your lips like a padlock, and did a little dance in the jack and the jukebox. Is this the song that they say? No, it's not. There's another song with Katy Perry, I think, by 303, when they say, do the hell and Keller and talk with your hips. How did they get away with that? Do the hell and Keller and talk with your hips? That is instant jail. How did they get away with that? And I remember at the time, I ate that up. I was like, do the hell and Keller and talk with your hoops. No, that's not okay. You can't do that. Black Eyed Peas, boom, boom, pow. Okay, first of all, Black Eyed Peas, I'm having a renaissance. I'm going to buy the Black Eyed Peas Monkey Business album on vinyl. Yep. I'm so 3008, you're so 2000 and late. This article... I think they're wrong here. This is not a bad song lyric. I love that. I'm so 3008, you so 2000 and loot. It's because they released the song in 2008. 3008, you're so 2000 and late. I love that. That's so good. Miley Cyrus, 4x4. Driving so fast, about to piss on myself. Driving so fast, about to piss on myself. Driving so fast, about to piss on myself. Very interesting concept, okay? 
I think those lyrics are possibly inspired by true events, but I can't be sure on that. The Clash? I don't even know who that is. Apologies to The Clash fans. Robin Thicke, Blurred Lines. I mean, that song in general, very much cancelled. What rhymes with hug me? Ew. Rugby? Fergie feet will I am Fergalicious. T to the A to the S T E Y girl you tasty. T to the A to the S T E Y girl you tasty. D to the E to the to the to the hit it Fergie. All the time gather around boys looking up and down looking up no. All the time gather wait. All the time gather around boys. Mmm something something something. Always looking at my uh. I ain't trying to round up drum a little mama. I don't want to take your man. I know I'm going up just a little bit conceited and I keep on repeating how the boy's trying to eat it, but I'm trying to tell that I can't be treated like clientele because they say, see, delicious, so delicious. But I, I ain't promiscuous. And if you were suspicious, all that is, is fictitious. I blow kisses. Mwah. Anyway, he spelled tasty wrong, but maybe he was adding the, the E for a little bit extra drama. T to the A to the S T E Y girl, you tasty. Because tasty or taste hey? Taste, hey, add something extra. But also, I love a song when they spell out stuff or they spell out their name. Like in UK Hun, when Taste spells out Taste. That's great. I love it when they do that. The Killers, human. Are we humans or are we dancer? It should be, are we dancer? I remember like hearing that song and being like, whoa, this says so much about society. Are we humans? Or are we denser? Like, are we, like, made of different material? Like, maybe humans have, like, evolved, you know? No. The lyrics are, are we humans or are we denser? Make it make sense. Bruno Mars, Grenade. Should have known you was trouble from the first kiss. Had your eyes wide open. Why were they open? Now explain to me how he knows her eyes are open. Does he have someone standing there checking that her eyes are closed? Does he have alerts on her eyelids? Because unless those are the options, he's got his eyes open to see that her eyes were open. In which case, he is the weakest link goodbye. Mm Mm-hmm. Drake feet Big Sean. I'm not even gonna read that one. That one's so gross. Drake forever. Like a sprained ankle boy, I ain't nothing to play with. I actually quite like that one. A, because I stepped in a hole this week. So I had a sore ankle, so this one's a bit close to home. Swimming in the money, come and find me, Nemo. If I was at the club, you know I bald chemo. Bitch. No, I have to leave. I'm departing. For those listening... I'm walking out of frame. And now I'm returning back to frame. Swimming in the money, come and find me Nemo. That's fine, that's fun, that's great. We love a reference. If I was at the club, you know I bald chemo. No, Drake. Stop this right now. Black Eyed Peas, I got a feeling. Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, Friday and Saturday and Saturday and Sunday. Mm. I too love going through the days of the week, but there's something sick and twisted going on here. Why is there two Saturdays? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Friday, Saturday, Saturday, and Sunday. Honestly, I would like an eight day week with two Saturdays, a three day weekend. Kind of ate it up. Also, not to get back on this shit again, but to the concept of a week and working days perpetuated by um, the industrial revolution and trying to get people to work as much as possible just because that's what was done doesn't mean that's the right way to do it you know what I mean like what dictates that you have to work Monday to Friday some crusties back in the day And now everything's based on that model. So I guess that's that. We deal with the problems of days past and we just turn them into bigger problems. And then we just scream until we're in the ground. Dun, 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 dun. Quote of the day. The killers. All these things I've done. I've got soul, but I'm not a soldier. 
I'm going to move on from that one. Jesse J. Wild. Am I asleep? No, I'm alive. Wig. That's all I have to say to that. Wig. Today I woke up feeling like a mirror. Oh my God. That's Big Sean featured on the song. Today I woke up feeling like a mirror. Feeling like a mirror? What was the reason? Justin Bieber, boyfriend. Mmm, this is good. Swag. Swag, swag on you. Chilling by the fire while we eat and fondue. I mean, in terms of cultural reset, that song, I started liking Justin Bieber based off that song. Because he, I think this was maybe, like, if we say his eras, he had like Baby and all that. Maybe he had an era in between that and this, but then he had this era and he had that whole like bad boy image and the song Boyfriend, it's a bop. If I was a boyfriend, I'd never let you go. Like it's, it's fun. Like I, I love it when pop stars reinvent and he did reinvent there. Coldplay fix you. Lights will guide you home and ignite your bones. Now, why are you lighting my body on fire? Light my body up. Yes, I'm quoting Nicki Minaj. I went over to Popheads, which is a subreddit. Shout out to Popheads. Always something great happening there. Always some big brain discussion about pop music. And I love it. So, someone had posted, what is the worst lyric you've ever heard? And they nominated, let's Marvin Gaye and get it on. From Mr. Charlie Puth, who I follow on TikTok. Yeah, we don't need to talk about the fact that I follow Charlie Puth on TikTok. That's a topic for another day. I feel so close to you right now, it's a force field. I feel so close to you right now, it's a force field. Bestie Calvin Harris. That is not how force fields work. <sighs> also, this post is by Smokeweed21. So shout out to Smokeweed21. Hello Mochi says, bikinis, zucchinis, martinis, no weenies, just the king and a queenie. Do you know what song that's from? It's from California Girls. Bikinis, zucchinis, martinis, no weenies, just the king and a queenie. Hmm. The last line, fine. Bikinis, zucchinis, martinis, no weenies. So no weenies, he's saying that it's like California beach babes only. Hashtag girl boss only. So bikinis, zucchinis, martinis. Martinis, sure. Bikinis and zucchinis? What does zucchinis have to do with it? Bikinis, martinis, no weenies. Sure. The girls are girl bossing on the beach right now. And I love that for them. I just don't understand why zucchinis was included there. What if you moved martinis to where zucchinis is? Bikinis, martinis... Something, no, even just zucchinis and no weenies. That's so unnecessary. Just bikinis, martinis, just the king and a queenie. Like, I'm sure you could find something else that rhymes with eeny. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, etc. etc. <sighs> I'm trying to find the words to describe this girl without being disrespectful. <laughs> Damn, you a sexy bitch. <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, the song kind of goes off though. Who sings that? Akon. Mm. It went off at the time. I'll just say that. And don't forget the flowers every anniversary. Because if you treat me right, I'll be the perfect wife buying groceries. That's Megan, the trainer. She has another one here somewhere as well. Here we go. I'll be sleeping on the left side of the bed. Open doors for me and you might get some pause kisses. Wow. She is really an experimental hyper pop queen. Megan the Stallion. I gotta say though, genetics slaps. G-E-N-E-T-I-C-S. I learned a dance routine to that. I think it was part of it was from the music video. That's the Pussycat Dolls feature song. That's a great song, okay? But I think it's... Oh, I was going to say it's probably better because it has Pussycat Dolls in it because that's when they released React, like that kind of era. But at the same time, 
Miss Megan had the song with Nikki. Nice to meet you in the same era, which was also good. We kind of paid that dust. Okay. I smell your breath. It makes me cry. <laughs> what is that? Is that last Friday night? No. What's that from? I smell your breath. That makes me cry. No, that's when I used to work in corporate and people just have 17 coffees before 9am and you talk to them and they just murder you with the, we don't need to talk about it. Now that I've become who I really are, that sounds familiar. When I get home at night, I tend to close the door. Me. I think I need a ginger ale. That was such an epic fail. Mm. Mm hmm. That's from last Friday night. Last Friday night. Dana, 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 bam, 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 bam. But I think that's part of it. Like, I think the song lyrics being ridiculous is part of the campiness of the song. That music video was high fashion, okay? It had Rebecca Black in it, it's high fashion. You look so perfect standing there in my American apparel underwear. Jail, straight to jail. Why the name brand? Why that name brand? Like, that's, ugh. I'm trying to bathe my ape in your Milky Way. That's from E.T. I'm trying to bathe my ape, ape in your Milky Way. Kanye West verse on E.T. Yeah, I could leave it. They call in me a, an alien, a big headed astronaut. Maybe it's because your boy Yeezy get ass a lot. Big headed astronaut because he gets ass a lot. This is too much for me. I thought it was he gets asked a lot. Like asked a lot of questions, but I guess this makes more sense. I've now opened up an article called 25 stupid song lyrics you won't believe you're actually listening to. I don't like the tone of this title, okay? The implication that these silly song lyrics are like, stupid or like if there's a negative connotation associated with it, it's just fun. Like when people get so heated about it, it's like, bestie, no. Anyway, Spice Girls Wannabe. I really, really, really want to zig a zig. Uh, if you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friends. Wait, but now that I think about it, that's also weird. If you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friends. Hmm. <laughs> if you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friends. Like literally get with my friends or like get with my friends. Like you need to be friendly with my friends or are they implying friendly with my friends? Much to think about. Also songs <laughs> like that. I would sing when I was like little and I'd just be like, yes, send it. Like Lady Marmalade. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? C'est soi. Mm -hmm -hmm. Doesn't that mean, do you want to sleep with me tonight? Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? C'est soi. <laughs> what? They used to play that at like the primary school disco. And I used to eat it up. See, this is the problem with this list. Selena Gomez, I love you like a love song. I love you like a love song, baby. Apparently that's a bad lyric. Says who? That makes sense to me. Britney Spears, email my heart. We're gonna do a Britney Spears Queens edition, um, but I'm gonna ignore that they've put Britney Spears on this list. Pitbull, give me everything. Me not working hard, yeah right, picture that with a Kodak. Better yet, go to Times Square, take a picture of me with a Kodak. Well. That situation is of interest to me because rhyming Kodak with Kodak, I'm fine with that. But the lines have the same like point because it's saying picture that with a Kodak, take a picture of me with a Kodak. Actually, no, that's probably fine. To me, that's fine because the first one's saying picture that with a Kodak because Kodaks are cameras. Ha <laughs> ha. Take a picture of me with a Kodak. Yes, it's very similar, but I actually don't hate that. Cisco thong song. She had dumps like a truck, 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 thighs like what, 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 baby move your butt, butt, butt. 
Mm. Mm Mm-hmm. When I hear or read lyrics from that song, I just think of Mr. Schuster doing that dance from Glee season one. And I just get full body shivers. Oh, that is... Mr. Schuster is my sleep paralysis demon. But also, again, not to, like, get all preachy, but people just take it way too far. Like, on TikTok, all these TikToks about the actor who plays Mr. Schuster, and they're, like, coming for him specifically, and, like, just making fun of everything that he does. It's just, like, he didn't write the script for Glee. He just was doing what he was paid to do. So... I don't know. Sometimes that just rubs me the wrong way. It sort of reminds me of when, like, people want to just jump on the train of something that's, like, popular to hate on. Or, yeah, I don't know. It's just like, come on, people. Do better. Ed Sheeran, wake me up. And I know you love Shrek because we've watched it 12 times. Mr. Ed. 12 times watching Shrek? Will Smith getting jiggy with it. You got a Prada bag with a lot of stuff in it. She's got things to carry, okay? Maybe she's printed out the Declaration of Independence and she's got it in the Prada bag. I don't know. Taylor Swift love story. Because you were Romeo, I was a scarlet letter and my daddy said stay away from Juliet. What is wrong with that? (gasps) No, this person's put this little comment next to the lyric. Hey, here's a thought. Maybe don't mindlessly mix two beloved literary figures in your awful song, Taylor Swift. Um, that is heated and also incorrect. Love song, Love Story by Taylor Swift is a great song. Okay, we can just immediately discard this list because number nine, Nicki Minaj, Stupid Ho. They've spelt Nicki Minaj as N-I-K-K-I. M-A-N-A-J. Sorry? What? How? Why would someone think that Nikki is spelled N-I-K-K-I? Most Nikki's are N-I-C-K-I, or with a Y. Where did the two K's come from? Anyway. Stupid ho discourse. You a stupid hoe. You a, you a stupid hoe. Stupid, stupid. That song? Yeah, we'll be writing essays about it in 100 years. What about it? Rihanna, what's my name? The square root of 69 is 8 something right because I've been trying to work it out. That's a bit of fun. Hilary Duff, so yesterday. If the, light's, if the light is off, then it isn't on. But did she lie? She didn't lie. That is factually correct. So, Hilary Duff's singing career was paid dust. Yep. There was a lot of slumbering happening because the girls were sleeping. And then LMFAO, sexy and I know it. Wiggle, 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 yeah. Wiggle, 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 yeah, yeah. (laughs) Moving right along. Dark Horse by Katy Perry. She's sweet as pie, but if you break her heart, she'll turn cold as a freezer. She's sweet as pie, that's fine. But if you break her heart, she'll turn cold as a freezer. Something about that, sick and twisted. There's another website here and they've got Bang Bang by Jessie J, Nicki Minaj and Ariana Grande. And the lyric they're confused about is, bang bang into the room. I know you want it, bang bang all over you. I'll let you have it. Which, I guess, at face value, it doesn't make sense. Bang, bang, into the room. I know you want it. Bang, bang, all over you. I'll let you have it. But if you read into it, it's obviously like a, like there's sexual connotations there. And also, if you listen to the song and you really listen to it, the first bang, bang, they say bang, bang. They're like, bang, bang, into the room. I know you want it. Then the next bang, bang, You can hear Nikki actually says G, so they both say B, but she says G for the first bang. So mm, instead of bang, bang, it's all over you, I'll let you have it. 
So that makes more sense. <sighs> My humps, the black eyed peas. What you gonna do with all that junk, all that junk inside your trunk? I'm gonna get, 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 get you drunk, get you love drunk off my hump. My hump, 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 my lovely little lumps. That also reminds me of that Shakira lyric where she's like talking about how she's lucky her breasts are small so they don't get confused with mountains. Mmm. Mm hmm. Friday, Rebecca Black. I would not take slander. I'm a Rebecca Black stan. And I would not take any kind of um, pushback on that. Rebecca Black is an icon. And that's that on that. End of sentence. Yesterday was Thursday. Today it is Friday. We, we, we so excited. We so excited. We're going to have a ball today. Tomorrow is Saturday and Sunday comes afterwards. It makes sense. It's true. We should be singing this to little kids and they can work out how the week works. Yesterday was Thursday. Today is Friday. We're so excited. We're going to have a ball. Tomorrow is Saturday and Sunday comes afterwards. That's just how it works. Like if you're mad at Rebecca Black for saying that, you should be more mad at the concept of the working week. And the ancient Romans. I'm once again talking about the ancient Romans. Every problem that I have comes from the ancient Romans. Julius Caesar. If I could time travel, I would slap Julius Caesar. It's true. I would slap Julius Caesar. What's he going to do? Murder me? I'll just time travel back again. I need to slap him for what he did to the calendar. All the annoying shit. Uh, and then I go slap Henry Ford. Actually, no, I think Henry Ford introducing the working week was like a good thing because otherwise the girls were working six or seven days a week. And he was like, no, we need people to be working five days a week so that they have time for leisure because when people are leisuring, they're spending money on cars. So and that's why we work five days. My thoughts on that are that it's just, you don't have enough time. I, I worked in corporate and I tried to do YouTube at the same time and it just didn't work because if you're working eight to five, or whatever it is, if you take out time to eat and sleep, you have what? Maybe like half an hour or an hour in the morning and then two or three hours at night, depending on how late you go to sleep. So you have four hours a day for leisure. That kind of sucks. Especially if you're like at work for eight or nine hours. It's giving me kind of garbage, you know? Anyway, I guess that's just what we have to deal with. I can't see that changing anytime soon. Unless we get some overhaul and everyone's like, besties, time to work three hours today. It's just not going to happen because the expectation is that there's 37.5 hours of work done in the week. So then outputs are based off that input and then scope for projects is based on that output. So if you're working less hours, less work's being done, which means scope changes, which means timelines change, and then the fast-paced situation of things being made so quickly and things just continuously evolving that's just it's just not good enough and there's the issue <laughs> the crusty is back in the day started this and we have no choice but to continue it anyway i also wanted to talk about pasta la pasta la pasta because i was reading about lasagna and lasagna like the e like spell lasagna, but put N-E on the end. That is the sheet. But then when you have them all together, that's lasagna. So lasagna is the dish. And lasagn lasagna, I don't know how to pronounce that. Lasagna? Lasagna. That's the sheet of pasta. And that's kind of the collapse, if you ask me. So I googled types of pasta and how to like pronounce them and stuff like that. 
So let's go through some of these. This is a complete shift on what I was talking about before, but we're going to deal with that. Spaghetti. Let me put my little Italian. Let me visualize that I'm in Italy. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Uh, you have to really like move your mouth around that T because there's two T's and that's the T. Ew, I can't believe I said that. Am I in 2017? Linguini. Linguine? Linguine. Is it linguini or linguine? Ling linguini. Anyway, speaking of linguini, it drives me up the wall. You might be wondering, where am I going when I'm driving the car? I'm driving it up the wall in rage. When people say that linguini is the name of the character from Ratatouille. Linguini is his last name. It's Alfredo is his first name. Alfredo Linguini. It's a play on the pasta dish. It's the same kind of shit of when people say that the rat in Ratatouille is called Ratatouille. Why would that make sense? The rat's name is Ratatouille and it cooks Ratatouille. Just shoot me in the face right now. It's Remy. The amount of times that the bloody TikTok Ratatouille musical was everywhere and then people were just like tagging me in it. And I'm like, I can't stomach this because they say Remy the Ratatouille. What is that? Remy the Ratatouille? Remy's a rat bestie. Ratatouille's a dish. Fettuccine translates to little ribbons. It's flatter than linguine. Spill. Pastina, which means little pasta. Pastina. I think my sister one time choked on pastina. And then like, not to get graphic, but she threw it up. And then like that taste stayed with her. So then she can't eat pastina because it reminds her of like throwing up. That's like one time I got food poisoning after an event. And at the event, I ate a lot of beef, right? <laughs> I ate so much beef. And I also ate a lot of cake pops, like chocolate flavored cake pops. So then like, yeah, those two flavor profiles mixed. And that's all I can think about when I have either of those two things, especially the cake pops. I haven't had a cake pop in like 10 years. I think that's probably all the pasta that I want to talk about, mainly because I just butchered all the names and I don't want to embarrass myself further. But at the end of the day, I am just an Italian girl from New York. Lady Gaga and I have that in common. So yes, that brings me to the end of this episode of the podcast. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like on the YouTube video or leave me a review if you're listening to this on the pod, like podcasting services or whatever. Um, if you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. And I'll talk to you all next week. Peace out. Bye.